Today to prep the skin, I washed with Dream Clean, then went in with Sotax, which I love, and tapped it off with One Drop Wonder. Also great for prepping the skin is our oil due date. Love it. Now that the skin is prepped, I went in and did my base. I used our Botanical Wax Foundation, and I mixed in a tad bit of our concealer. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. I like to mix them a little bit on the back of my hand and then apply to the face. Alright, there are so many ways to apply your foundation. Um, today I went in with our blender full. It comes in this cute little pouch to keep it sanitary, so I love that. If you go in with a wet blender, you're going to get a lighter coverage. I wanted a medium coverage today. If you go in with a dry blender, you're going to have a more full coverage look. All right, once that's pretty well blended, I like to go in with a buffer brush. Just kind of hit all the edges and make sure everything's perfectly blended. Just makes everything a little bit more um, airbrushed and seamless when you do that. All right, now I'm going to go in with concealer. I mixed number three and number zero. Zero is pretty light and number three is a peach base, so it's gonna counteract any blue or purple underneath the eyes. I also took that on the top of the eyelid and used it as an eyeshadow base as well. I just used my fingers to kind of rub that all in. It's kind of nice to use your fingers. It warms up the product and um, makes it so you don't have to find a brush to use. So that's pretty cool. And then I went over just some areas of redness that I needed a little bit of extra coverage. And then again, just taking a little buffing brush and buffing over all those edges and making sure everything's well blended. Now I'm going in with the biggest brush known to man with our pressed translucent powder um, and just setting the whole face. I'm oily so I do like to set the whole face. Now taking a smaller brush and setting the concealer underneath the eye with the same translucent powder and also the base on the eyelid. Putting the translucent powder to set the base on the eyelid is going to give you a smooth canvas to apply all your powder shadows to. Now using our perfect bronzer just to warm up the face. This is not a contour, this is just adding life back into the face. So you're just creating dimension, um, so you're not just all one clean slate. Alright, and that's it. Just an easy base. Um, nothing crazy. Um, just a nice, clear, clean skin look. Alright, and now you're ready to go in with eyeshadow and complete your look. 
I did a fun electric blue eyeshadow look.